Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna to work on trying to fix this Craftsman heat gun. I've had this heat gun for a number of years now and use it fairly regularly. I pulled it out of the toolbox yesterday to use it for a project, turned it on, and for some reason, it didn't work. All it does is hum. What I think that means is the heating element's coming on, but the fan is not spinning. So, I'm gonna take this thing apart See if I can figure out what's wrong. So the first telltale sign of trouble with this thing is that when I shake it, it rattles. <laughs> so something's floating around in there that shouldn't be. I'm gonna pull it apart and see if we can figure it out. So before taking this thing apart, the first thing I did was make sure I unplugged it. Don't wanna get a shock. So there's a handful of Phillips screws that hold this thing together. So grab a screwdriver and take them out. Now that the screws are removed, I can start trying to split the case apart. There's a seam in the middle of the tool, so I assume this part of the case comes out in two halves. This front piece is separate and looks like it unscrews. So after unscrewing it, a couple of pieces of <laughs> copper wire came out of here, so not sure what that's all about. Okay, so here's a look inside the tool. If I shake it, I can still hear stuff rattling around in there. So I'm gonna pull the rest of this assembly off from the other side. So as you can see here, this is the main motor that drives the blower and the blower is located in here. So I think I should be able to pull this apart just by pulling them straight apart. And as you may be able to see, little pieces of plastic are just falling out of here. So it looks like something in there broke. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be visible in the camera, but what we're looking at now is sort of down inside the blower body and toward the heating element. And it looks like what's happened is that some of the support piece that is inside the heating element has broken and kind of fallen off. It looks like one of those small pieces had gotten into the blower mechanism, which is here, and jammed it up. But since there's stuff rattling around in there still, I think I'm gonna take this apart further. And to do that, I'm gonna remove these four screws that you can see here. Now that the screws are removed and this shroud is out of the way, I'm gonna pull up on this assembly and see if it comes out. <laughs> and there you go. There's all the pieces that fell out. So it looks like what we're dealing with, with this heating element, are a series of ceramic rings that are just kind of wrapped around the heating wires. And it looks like this top first one just kind of broke and fell apart and got inside the unit. It looks to me like the rest of these are in decent shape. So what I think I'm gonna do is just try and reassemble this thing and see if it'll work. So I'll reinstall the heating element back in the metal tube. And then I'll spin this piece so that the holes in it line up to the holes in the metal piece. Then I'm gonna bring back this plastic shroud get the holes in it lined up to the holes in this piece. And then there's sort of a notch cut in it for the wires to go underneath it. And now I'll reinstall these four screws that hold it in place. Now I'll bring back the blower assembly and insert that into the housing. Now I'll drop this all back into the lower half of this plastic housing and line everything up into the grooves that are in the plastic. So all of these pieces have a slot or a pin like on the blower motor that they drop into in this lower part of the housing. Now that I've got all that seated, I should be able to bring in the top part of the housing and snap it in place. Now I'll bring in this collar and screw it back on the front. Now I can reinstall the five screws that hold the case halves together. So before I plug in the heat gun and see if it works, here's a look at all the broken pieces <laughs> that came out of it. So I just plugged the heat gun into the wall. <laughs> Let's turn it on and see if it works. I'm gonna start off on low and see what happens. Okay, <laughs> well, the blower is spinning and I'm getting the air out of the end. I'm not feeling any heat, but it is on low. So Let's kick it up to medium and see if I feel any heat come out of this thing. Okay, well, I'm definitely getting some heat out of this thing now. So, seems like it's working. So I guess that's it. My old Craftsman heat gun is fixed. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. If you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider checking out my Amazon store, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.